Hello, this is Molly Reamer with Bridget's Grove in 30 Days of Goddess with this week's mini ritual using Woman Runes, the 30 Days of Goddess daily practice deck, some support materials for 30 Days of Goddess, and a card from our Story Goddess Art Oracle, which is a progressive deck that I am creating and building throughout this year in the Goddess Magic devotional community on Patreon, which is patreon.com slash goddessmagic. I will say that I'm teetering on the edge of getting a little sick. My kids have been sick and I can feel it creeping in. So if you notice that my voice sounds like I am teetering on the edge of getting sick, that's because I am. And so from Woman Runes, we received the broom. I have done a video about the broom not that long ago because I remember talking about literally cleaning things out, sweeping things away, decluttering, spring cleaning, so to speak. So let's revisit the broom, this rune of purification, clean, sweep, and cleansing. Where do you need to make a fresh start? Where do you need a new beginning? Where do you need to clean things out, clear things out? And this can be literal. It can be your actual home space. It can be your actual environment. It might be your altar spaces, which mine are getting pretty dusty and need to be rejuvenated a little bit. I've neglected my altar spaces for a while because I have a tendency really to build an altar every day with the goddesses and the cards and the prayers and the resources that I'm currently working with. And so then the standard altars that don't, that aren't travel portable, that don't travel with me. Cause I literally, I'm setting, I set up an altar space really about three times a day, like once in the morning by my yoga mat, then at my computer when I work and then at my bedside when I go to bed. So, but those are all like my traveling components that kind of stay with me throughout the day. And then I set them up in different places. So I build and tend an altar space every day, multiple times a day. But I have like a standard entryway altar and a, and more established altar spaces. And I've noticed recently that they're getting kind of dusty and neglected. And so it's so, it might be something literal like that, that you need to clean out, clear up, dust off, <laughs> refresh. Or it might be mental, it might be an old stale pattern of thought or behavior or an idea, those tapes that replay in our head, those recordings that keep going that tell us the same old story that we are done hearing. It might be time to unwind those knots and let those things go. It might be a, it might be, yeah, behavioral, it might be a pattern, it might be relational, it might be yeah, metaphorical. So what do you need to cleanse out? What do you need to clear? What do you need to untangle, detangle, unwind, release, let go, sweep out? Where do you need a clean start? And then from the daily practice deck, which can be used as a standalone deck or in conjunction with an ongoing 30 days of goddess practice, we received edge, which we've also had recently. So yeah, what, what, what are you on the edge of? What, what is at the edge of cracking open for you? Where are you feeling the edges? Where are you standing and looking to make a leap? So may you tend to your edges. May you sometimes push past your edges. May you honor the edges in your life, the between times where things meet. And a practice, also something we've had recently. Look for a bird, always a good idea. Always a touchstone with the goddess on the wing to me. And the finding, the looking for a bird will drop me right back into enchantment and into the present moment. Yesterday, it was that I was sitting on the deck actually writing a poem about how magic for me is so, is very real. It's very much, it's not in the realm of the imaginal or the mental for me. It's in the physical world, the the presence, the, the being, the being here with my eyes open. And as I was writing that poem about magic being real, I looked up and there was a bald eagle flying through the woods behind our house, which was pretty great. So look for a bird that will connect you to magic pretty much, even if you are in the McDonald's drive through And then I have several other things. I'm going to go with the Story Goddess Oracle card first. And from the Story Goddess Oracle, we got Persephone. And we got the Underworld Queen version of Persephone. This is the only goddess in the Story Goddess Oracle deck for which I have two cards. Fittingly, because I do have a book all about walking with Persephone. And I just, she really has these 
twin, strong twin aspects. And so she has two guards and two poems. So I'm going to go ahead and read that poem to you. Listen, I have learned what it means to rise soft bellied from the deep, shards of darkness clinging to my thighs, my lips stained berry red with truth and desire, my heart still capable of shedding flowers and drops of hope on hungry plains. The yearning in my bones pulls me to both rise and sink. There is sunrise passion in my eyes, a pulse of longing in my center, a blush of firelight streaked across my skin where sunshine meets shadow again and again. So I just realized that that really connects very nicely to edge, like that edge between sunshine and shadow, where sunshine meets shadow again and again. And then I'm going to, let's see, I went ahead and picked a card from our new booster pack business cards. And this is, so this is more of an affirmation or reminder, a little message to carry with you. Call your spirit back. Invite all your wandering fragments to unite. Reclaim your power and dedicate yourself to wholeness and self-sovereignty. Welcome yourself back home into your own body. Step into your own magic. Live it now. The body really is the doorway to the sacred in many ways or can be the doorway to the sacred. And when you feel that longing and that wish to connect, you have a doorway right there within you. And so that brings me to this card, having faith. Let us have faith in our own power, our own passion and purpose. Let us have faith in our own capacity, our own creativity and curiosity. Let us have faith in our own magic, these sparks of the infinite that we carry within us wherever we go. So let us have faith. Let us have faith in our capacity to make changes, to find magic everywhere, to learn from the edges, to step into both sunlight and shadow and learn from where we are, to call our spirits back and dedicate ourselves to wholeness and self sovereignty Let's have faith that all of these things are possible. And then finally, a closing message from our May snapshot deck for 30 Days of Goddess. And this, I feel like, is really core message for the 30 days of goddess practice in general step into the center of your own life into the current of your own stream into the flow of your own deeper river this is where the magic is this is where the power is this is where you will find wholeness wisdom and understanding this is where you will find the sacred right here right now you are inhabiting it you are breathing it in your heart beats in time with its rhythm. This is it right here, right now. You are on sacred ground. You inhabit the holy. You are your own sacred space. You breathe the breath of grace. Thank you so much for being here and may you have a magical and powerful week. Bye-bye.